Coach Jack Beer. Just a real quick video um, showing you how to manage some calf and bottom of the foot pain, maybe something like plantar fasciitis, but also help with Achilles tendon pain or calcaneal tendon pain. So here's a quick quick video show you how to manage that and work on it. Okay. You can use any any tool. You can use a foam roller. You can use a a percussion tool. I'm just going to show a stick. I like using the stick for this purpose. So roll the stick out or roll the calf out with the stick, I should say. I will also roll my hamstring. I like doing it sitting on a box like this. This is about a 12 inch box, whatever, you know, use whatever you have and what works. And this isn't going to be something that's just you're just gonna roll for a minute and <clears throat> it's gonna feel better. You're gonna have to spend some time. Loosen up those muscles, right? Roll out the muscle on the front of the shin, kind of, my shin's right here. It's kind of off laterally to it. Okay, we wanna roll that. Muscles along the side, I would roll those out too. Just general, general, recovery work or soft tissue work to help relieve tension in the anterior compartment, posterior compartment of the lower leg. And don't forget, come wrap around the front a little bit, not just the back. Okay, I would also do some quads. Okay, once I get that done, I'm gonna set this aside and then when and one of the reasons for doing it, doing this first is to relax and loosen up the more superficial muscles. So in the case of the lower leg, especially we want gastroc or the gastrocnemius and then the soleus, that's the gastroc, it's the calf muscle. The soleus is the muscle underneath the, the calf. And then in between the, the two bones here, the tibia and the fibula, we have another muscle called the posterior tibialis or tibialis posterior as some people like to say. So that's, we want to loosen this stuff up first, then we're going to take the ball and use the ball to try to get to some deeper tissue. Okay. And I know that some people say you should pin the, pin the device and then move the, move the muscle. Yeah, that's probably the best way to do it but the roller still works. So here's where the pin and the, the fascial shearing comes in or the shearing of the muscle. So I just got the, the ball kind of smack dab in the center of my, my calf and I'm gonna work all the tender spots and it might be the whole back of the leg, but I'm gonna find the tender spot and you may or may not need to apply extra pressure. I'm gonna put this on my leg to kind of help stabilize it and I'm just gonna move my ankle so that I can do a shearing of the tissue. Nothing wrong with going, moving it in just small movements. You wanna make sure you can stake on the target tissue. If you move it around too much, you won't, you won't get on that target tissue like you want to. So I'm just holding here doing some breath work, maybe move my ankle, okay? So that's step two. And then step three, so this was a lacrosse ball, by the way. Step three, especially if it's foot pain, I'm gonna take one of these pinky balls. You can use your lacrosse ball, you don't need a pinky ball, I prefer these. Um, take your shoe off. And then you're gonna go ahead and just kind of find your heel, find where that pain is, hold it, maybe go up and down the foot to each toe. Basically, I'm just gonna go in a straight line from the heel to each toe. When I get to the head of the base of the toes, I should say, that joint there, metatarsal, 
laryngeal joint. I'm going to do a little movement. I'm not really crunching my toes. I'm just trying to move them and mobilize the foot a little bit. And there's a tender spot. So I'm just going to hang out on that tender spot and then I'll move the foot rather than roll. So that's kind of what I do is I'll look for the tender spot and move the muscle. Nothing wrong with doing a little bit of rolling though. And then once you get done with that, pop your shoe back on and I'm going to show you a stretch that will lengthen this tissue that you just softened up with all this work. One sec. All right, so I, I forgot the, the band, so I apologize for that. Anyway, I'm gonna take the band, and basically I'm just gonna stick my foot in the band, and then let me get up where you can see me. And then my foot's gonna wanna make a little loop, and then overlap the band and then wrap it around to catch my foot like so okay and then once i get that i'm gonna and you can see i get a really good stretch i'm stretching out that plantar fascia muscles on the bottom of my foot my calf is my lower leg is really getting stretched out my knee isn't locked it's a soft straight, but it's soft, not locked out. And then I can change the position of my, so as I move more medial, I'll feel more of a stretch. Kind of on the lateral side, if I go this way, eh, kind of maybe more medial side. All right. Video took a little longer than I thought, but that's how you can address some foot pain, bottom of the foot, plantar fascia, fasciitis, I should say, maybe calcaneal tendon pain, calf pain. All right, try it out. Stuff works.